All right, so I found 11 new work from home jobs that you can land with no experience needed. And not only am I gonna share the jobs with you, I'm also gonna tell you about them so you know if they're a good fit for you or not. I'm gonna go over what you need to do in order to start them, the pros, the cons, and I'm gonna give you companies that are actually hiring for the position right now. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a call reviewer. Now this is somebody who analyzes customer service calls to make sure that the company is giving good service to their customers because customer experience is incredibly important for a company. So you basically make sure the customer service representatives are doing a good job taking care of the customer and also make sure that they have the right resources to take care of the customers as well. And call reviewers make about 39 to $53,000 a year. So some of the skills you're gonna need here are effective communication, active listening, tech savvy, and strong reporting skills. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you, you can check them out. Now, some of the pros here are it's really easy to land this job. And if you work in a certain type of industry, this can be a really good entry level job for you. And then you can work your way up. Some of the cons are you do have to be critical of your coworkers, which can sometimes be stressful. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be the weird one. I always put at least one weird one in the video that I come across when I'm doing the research. And that is going to be a TikTok script writer or just a social media script writer in general. Yes, this is actually a career and there's actually a good amount of people out there that are looking for people who have this skill set. And basically what you're going to be doing is writing engaging content so that the creator doesn't have to research and write the content themselves. They can just read off of the script. And here's a job posting right here that pays about four to five thousand dollars a month. Here's another job posting that pays a hundred to five hundred dollars a day. And that would translate to twenty six to one hundred and thirty thousand dollars in a year. So yeah, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the skills you need here is strong creative writing and storytelling abilities, a keen understanding of social media trends, the ability to write concise and captivating content, and a knack for engaging a young audience. Some of the pros of this one are you get an opportunity to work with successful creators, you have a potential for high earnings based on how well the scripts perform, and it may help you start your own personal brand down the line. Some of the cons here are there is a steep learning curve and you really do have to understand social media. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. And it's not just TikTok, like I said, it's a lot of different types of script writing out there, including YouTube script writing. And by the way, speaking of YouTube, I am going to be hosting a live training where I reveal the biggest secrets of how I grew this channel that you're watching right now to six figures a month. So definitely don't miss out on that. I'll be putting the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. So go ahead and click down there. Next on the list is going to be an emo support specialist. No, not that type of emo, an independent medical opinion support specialist. This is somebody who basically performs research and administrative tasks to assist in completing veteran medical examinations, primarily working for contractors or subcontractors contractors of the Veterans Administration. So this is one of the many extremely niche, but also pretty dang good medical careers out there. There's literally thousands of these random ones, and it's incredibly easy to land. You truly do not need any experience. However, it doesn't pay all that well. It only pays about 13 to $15 an hour. With that being said, this is a good way to get your foot in the door when it comes to getting into the medical industry, and you can get better jobs down the line. Some of the skills you need are being proficient in data entry, strong communication skills, and the ability to work independently. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros of this one are you're doing meaningful work that directly helps veterans. It is a stable job with the possibility of remote work and there are structured work hours. Some of the cons are this job can be highly administrative and repetitive. There may be some emotional weight in handling veteran cases and it requires specific training and an understanding of veterans affairs. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next is going to be entry level tech support. And this specific tech support job there's a little bit of a secret to it because it's actually secretly a sales job. See, companies are a little bit slick sometimes and they actually have their tech support people trained in selling people. So someone will call in because they're having some kind of issue with the technology and they'll end up upgrading or buying something else. Now, entry level tech support in general makes about 36 to $55,000 a year. However, you can make more than that if you get a lot of sales because typically you're going to get paid on commission as well. So here's an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen for you. This is from one support com. So some of the pros of this one are no prior experience needed. There's also typically growth opportunities within the company or outside of the company to move up and you get to learn one of the most valuable skills, which is sales. Some of the cons are the job may require variability with the different types of shifts that you take and tech issues can sometimes lead to stressful interactions. And by the way, I'm a huge fan of all types of sales jobs. I said it a million times and I'll say it a million more times. I think everyone should get at least one sales job in their lifetime. And one of the best entry level sales jobs to get is what's known as a sales 
development representative, and you're gonna be working in the technology industry, which is probably the best industry to work in. I interviewed Antoine on the channel, for instance, who started off as a business development representative, and he now makes over $500,000 a year. My last year, uh, my W-2 shows that I made 540,000. A little bit over, but let's just say $540,000, right? So. That's the type of money that you can make in tech sales. And what Antoine recommends to get into tech sales is going through a company called Course Careers. And Course Careers actually does have a free training, which will go over exactly how you can get into it, which I'll put in the description in the pinned comment below. You can click down there and check it out. But yeah, this one gets a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a regulatory compliance analyst. And this is basically a position where you make sure that a company's products and services comply with legal regulations. So this is kind of like being a referee in a sports game of business. And regulatory analysts make about six 68 to $103,000 a year. Now, you don't have to have any regulatory analyst experience, but typically they do prefer hiring people that have some work experience. It just doesn't really matter what work experience you have. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And some of the skills you're going to need for this are proficiency with Microsoft Office, strong research abilities, excellent verbal and written communication, and being detail oriented. Some of the pros of this one are the compensation can be very lucrative. There's a lot of opportunities down the line for continuous learning and development, and you have really good job stability. Some of the cons are it can be a bit of a high pressure environment. It can be somewhat adversarial with your coworkers that you're telling that they can't do this or they can't do that. And you have to constantly stay up to date on the newest legal knowledge. But overall, this one's really good. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a health insurance specialist. And this is basically a specialist that guides clients through the labyrinth of the US healthcare system. And health insurance specialists make about 61 to $103,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the skills you're gonna need with this one are problem solving abilities, interpersonal communication, a friendly demeanor, and the ability to work independently. Some of the pros of this one are you can make a ton of money because you're actually commission based because it's another one of those jobs that's secretly kind of a sales job, although it's a much more collaborative than some sales jobs. It's not like a sketchy used car salesman type of thing. And you have comprehensive benefits. Some of the cons of this one are your income is heavily influenced by sales success and continuous education and licensing are needed. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a finance associate. And this is somebody who basically provides financial education and financial strategy consulting with individuals, families, and business owners. And this is done to help them meet their financial goals. And here's this lady who posted a video in the day of her life working in this career. I thought it was pretty cool. In this position, you make really good money, about fifty-seven dollars to $83,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. Some of the skills you need here are strong communication skills, the ability to build and maintain relationships, organization, and staying motivated. Some of the pros of this one are there are opportunities for career development down the line and you get comprehensive training, which will likely help you in many other areas of your life. Some of the cons of this one are earnings can vary heavily depending on client acquisition. And there is a long background check process, as you can imagine with a position like this. But overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of a finance associate and giving people financial advice, this is totally not financial advice that you should start a YouTube channel. And if you do want to start a YouTube channel, you definitely should not click on the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to book a call with me because I do actually coach a few people on how to do that every month. So definitely do not click the link. Next is going to be a health claims examiner. And this is somebody who's responsible for accurate and timely processing of medical, dental, vision, and pharmacy claims. And they're typically employed by a healthcare management company or an insurance provider. So you're basically combining your knowledge of healthcare and insurance with customer service. And health claims examiners make a lot more than your typical customer service representative representative about 57 to $92,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. So some of the skills you need here are great attention to detail, a strong understanding of medical terminology, the ability to use software and basic mathematical skills. Some of the pros of this one are there's very stable work hours and there's opportunities for advancement within the company and industry. Some of the cons are there is a very high demand for accuracy. You can't really make too many mistakes, but overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a satisfaction research associate. This is somebody who basically conducts phone surveys with home care recipients and their families to gather feedback that home care providers use to improve services. In this position, you'd make about forty-seven dollars to $81,000 a year. Some of the skills you need are a high attention to detail, basic computer literacy skills, a typing speed of at least 40 words per minute, and strong communication skills. Some of the pros of this one are regular pay raises and performance bonuses, and you get to make a positive impact on senior care through direct feedback. Some of the cons are the job can be monotonous with extensive time spent on the phone, 
alone, and it may involve challenging conversations. But overall, this one's pretty good. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen, and I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a family member or a friend or somebody who just needs to get a job. Next is going to be a healthcare referral agent. And this is somebody who basically generates leads and promotes healthcare services as an independent contractor, typically hired by companies within the healthcare industry to expand their client base through direct marketing and sales efforts. And referral agents typically make about forty-six to $68,000 a year. Now, this is truly an entry-level job, doesn't require a lot of previous experience or a college degree, etc. And some of the skills you need are excellent communication skills, the ability to persuade, a friendly demeanor, and the ability to work independently. Some of the pros of this one are you get an opportunity to make a meaningful impact in healthcare. Some of the cons are it is commission-based, so you have to kind of eat what you kill, so to speak. But overall, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. I do like this one. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a surety bond assistant. And this is basically somebody who handles the issuance and renewal of surety bonds. And basically, you're going to maintain client and underwriter relationships, and you're going to ensure accurate documentation for bond-related transactions. And typically, you're going to be employed by an insurance firm or a financial firm. And bond assistants make about thirty-eight to $56,000 a year. So some of the skills you're going to need for this are strong analytical and problem-solving skills, the ability to use a computer, and meticulous attention to detail. Some of the pros are there are opportunities for advancement because it's a great industry to be in. Some of the cons are it is a lower level role and it doesn't pay quite as well as some of the others on this list. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And check this video out right here. 21 highest paying work from home jobs. It went viral, got over a million views. Everyone loves it and you will love it as well. You can check it out by clicking right here.